Hey everybody, it's Strike Survival again. We're going to do uh, instructions on how to replace the wick on your new Gen 4 grenade match. Um, this is when your, your wick burns down and you're having a hard time catching a flame. It, it, it's probably time for you to change the wick out. So. When you, when you need to, you unscrew it like you would to use it. Usually, I will wipe off the area I'm working with just so it's not slippery. And I typically hold with the cloth. You can use one of two things to take this out. You can use a pair of needle nose or you can use a pair of pliers. I prefer pliers just because you can get a better grip. When you grab this nib, don't go down pull straight out you don't you don't have to pull hard on these so you know it's not that bad see and pulled it right out that's what it should look like so I won't take this and we'll set it right here when you pull this out you see how much wick comes out there's still more wick in there so you can take that if you're down to wick. I'll take this one completely out. See how much wick there is in this? That's a lot of wick for that little striker rod. So that should last you a while. Now you can replace it with one of two things. You can replace it with a Zippo lighter wick or you can replace it with twine. We found that the twine works better sometimes than the Zippo wick. So what you'll do is you'll set this down, put that over there, and you're going to take this and you'll fold it in half. Try to make sure it's a little even. And you'll take, sometimes you'll have to, when you put this in, twist to make sure it goes in right and you put it down as far as you can. Now the flame is going to determine the size of the wick. If the wick is long like this one, it's going to be a big flame. If the wick is low, like down to about right there, it's going to be a little flame. So when you get your wick in, you're going to take your striker and you're going to try to put this sandwiched in between. See, I already set it in there and it ha it's not going nowhere. So, I mean, you can see I can pull this out with my hands usually when you're seeding it in here. Typically, you want it a little bit higher than the striking rod because when you push down, it's going to go down. So, you want to try and get it. Let's see this just a little bit real quick. You want it about even with that match nib. So when you get it, you know, take this and you'll push down a little bit. Yeah, sensitive fingers, just give it a little tap on that striking nib, just a little bit. It doesn't take much on the new ones at all. So push down a little bit. You see there's a crease right there. You want to try to get as close as you can to it. So that's replacing the wick. It's already in there, seated properly. So you're going to take this and you're going to, again, fill it up with Zippo fluid if it needs to be filled up. Put that away. You're going to take your new wick with the striking rod on it and make sure it's seated properly. Make sure it's good and tight. You know, wipe it off. Make sure you get all the residue away. Clean up your little surface. If you don't do that step, and you take that rod and you strike it, you're going to catch your hand on fire. And you will go around screaming like a little girl or a baby goat or that girl on the dance floor when you hear your favorite song screaming like you're a mad woman because you're on fire. So make sure you do these steps. It's for your own good. 
So you want to let it sit the, let the new one sit for about five ten minutes, and once you it's set for a good five ten minutes and it's soaked in the wick and you've had that chance, go ahead and take it out. And you can see that it is wet, and you're gonna put your thumb over it, the well, and strike. See what I mean by big flame? That was a big wick, big flame. So you blow it out, and that is exactly how to replace your wick. Make sure you follow our instructions. Make sure you're safe when using our products. Make sure you use a little common sense when you're playing with fire. It's not a toy and it, it is for fire use and survival. So treat it as if you would do any other tool that you have. It's important and it's for your safety. Thank you for watching. Make sure you share. Um, with your friends and uh, make sure you follow us on social media and if you ever um, interested in getting our product we also do wholesale manufacturing for this and we'll give you some great deals on wholesale make great gifts and great Christmas presents so um, just contact customer support and they will be happy to hook you up with a customized quote on bulk wholesale um, thanks for watching. Make sure to visit www.strikesurvival.com and we will see you again later.